how expensive is that car well that completely depends on what you're looking for and where you're buying it so if you go somewhere if you're looking for something more european or something that you're more accustomed to and you go to one of the shopping malls it will cost quite a lot because of all the imported tax and there's extra tax that's probably going to be added into it but if you want to buy local items local food and live like a local it'd be much cheaper and i'll suggest you do that because you get a lot of value for your money and in this video i'm just going to go around jamina future park and show you and the prices that you might be paying for some of the fruits some of the water and a few other snacks as well and just compare it hope you enjoy it let's go and check it out the first grocery store i'll be going to is called wholesale club is located inside jamuna future park and it's right at the bottom floor so we're just gonna go there and check out the prices there i imagine that's probably it's probably the most expensive store here in dakar but we're going to see the prices i'm not too sure if i'm allowed to film but <laughs> i will see anyway maybe i'll just capture some prices and talk about it later on and compare it with another another store but first let's go and check it out Like they sell Evian imported from the US. So this one is 285 taka just for one bottle, which is almost 250. But in the UK, you can probably get it for 90p for 100 taka. So here's slightly more. This costs over a thousand taka. What country is this from? Sorry? What country is this from? Uh, which country? Yes. USA. USA. Yes. Very, very expensive. Yeah, very expensive. Wow. One thousand. One thousand. Lunch. Lunch. A thousand taka, too much. <laughs> <laughs> so 90 taka for Lay's Doritos 100 taka just for one packet. <laughs> wow. This is from the US. No, no. What country? India. This is from yes. India. India. Okay. Yes, 300, 385. Okay. Yes. Uh, 475 grams. Yeah. <laughs> Um, can I just have water? Just water. Okay. Thank you. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. You put tax on it? Uh, that's because here it says thirty-five. Percent. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. This way. So as you saw the prices inside wholesale club it is just crazy. It is too much because they're just selling everything that's been uh, imported. So from different countries it comes from all around the countries, all around the world. 
and they just hike their price it's just too much <laughs> that and plus after you buy everything you have to still pay taxes on everything that you buy and I made my first mistake when I first came here so I, I just searched on Google and Google was like yeah this is the shopping mall you can buy everything so I just went there just bought everything I bought a lot of stuff and it came up to in total I just bought a cup of water yeah, apples and a few snacks and it all came up to like 25 pound and I was thinking what did I spend for 25 pound come to find that that place is not the place to shop but now I'm gonna take you to a more local store it's not cheap but it's more affordable so I'll take you there and show you the prices in that store and compare it to wholesale club so the store that I'm going to right now is just outside Jamuna Future Park and that store there is more affordable it's still not cheap you can still find cheaper cheaper options than this store here but uh, it's more affordable it's just literally just around the corner from Jamuna Future Park you just see on the sidewalk, side, uh, sidewalks where it's completely chaos here it's never calm on this side of the side of town. It's always busy. There's always a lot of people. It's always something happening. But let's quickly go to the shop before it gets dark. This shop I'm actually going to. The owner is really friendly. Oh, the management. I've actually spoken to them a few times, maybe twice, and they've told me I can come in there and film. So in this one here, like, it might be a bit easier just to show you the prices and explain a bit more. So the green apples here, you get five of them and it costs 124 kaka. This, Thailand? So this is a cereal section complex. And this cereal box. 360 taka. Which is pretty much the same as the first store I'll say. There's not really too much difference. So I found Evian. Let's see how much it cost here. This one is how much? 220. Oh, 220 taka. Yeah, so Evian here is slightly cheaper than the first store. But still, in the UK, you're probably buying it just for 100 taka. But here, it's, it's 120 extra that you'd be paying. Uh, let's check out the prices for the Nutellas. So here for 750 gram Nutella it cost 950 taka which is uh, less way less compared to the first store which was over 1000 taka <laughs> yeah that is crazy let me just tell the guy how much it is in the UK he probably will be surprised this Nutella, Nutella. in UK, UK. it cost uh, 400 taka 400, yes. only 400 taka uh, let's go to the coffee now see how much it is so this one here is 450 let's see how much it is for one can of red bull how much uh, 320 325 okay yeah red bull <laughs> anywhere around the world it's not gonna be cheap it's like the most expensive drink out there <laughs> but it does it does a job though and this one here is from thailand, thailand. this one from Aus austria australia. austria and this one's from thailand i think this one's gonna put yeah it costs slightly less 210 taka but this one here tastes completely different to 
this one here where which which most people aren't used to <laughs> this one is the hardcore one <laughs> the authentic so that's me done with my little shopping experience here in Dakar the second uh, shop that I went to is called Genius Shopping Centre United it's right behind me yeah the prices in there they're okay they're not too expensive or too cheap or anything like that but if you're if you're not buying local food it will cost quite a little bit more compared to the local items that you might be buying around here and I'd like to say thank you to the guys that work inside the shop for allowing me to actually film in there I know it's a bit tricky and uh, just someone coming there with cameras and filming you don't want to scare off the people that's actually buying there and making them feel a bit awkward and stuff like that so I thank you I thank them for actually allowing me to film in there how much is apples here um apples if I buy uh, seven apples how much apples yes how much for seven 180 kilo okay per kilo 180 180 okay I ate uh, 170. 170, mm. the red ones. And. Uh, orange. Yes. Orange, 170. 170. Mm. And your apples, what country does it come from? Uh, South Africa. South Africa. I ate China. China, okay. Mm. What about Thailand? Do you have any uh, apples from Thailand? Thailand, no. Thailand, okay. apple, no. Thailand apple expensive? Expensive. Okay, and South Africa cheap. Mm. Okay. My name is Razik. Razik. And the name of your shop? What's your shop? What's it called? Uh, Masuma Falvitan. Well, thank you for showing me around your okay. shop, brother. Thank you. My E class. E class? Yes. Uh, nice to meet you, E class. Can you tell me how much here this is for? Uh, Dragon, one kilo, 650. 650. Yes. And what country does it come from? Uh, Thailand. Thailand? Yes. Okay. And your apples? How much is? Uh, 180 uh, South Africa. From South Africa? Yes. Anything from Bangladesh? Any fruit? Bangladesh, uh, this one, papaya. Papaya? Yes. And Bangladesh. how much for one? How one much kilo is papaya? Uh, 120. 120 for one yes, kilo? One kilo. 120. Okay. Yeah, Goyaba. Yes. This so one, one from Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Bangladesh, 160. 160 kilo. Oh, wow. Best yeah. quality. Normal quality, 120. 120 yes. okay this one for oh. Bangladesh Bangladesh is all yes and very sweet for one kilo how much uh, 140 140 yes. okay and the name of your shop what's the code your shop yes your store what's the code the name of your store Ishko. Ishko. that's his code and what time do you close cross um, Bartabaje Yes, uh, 12. 12? Oh yes. wow, and what time do you open? Open uh, 6? 6, 6. 6 a.m.? Yes. Oh, long hours. Uh, yes. Long hours. Okay, thank you. Thank you for showing me around the store. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Hello, what's your name? Saibul Islam. Oh, and this, is, and this is your shop? Uh, your shop? Your shop. Ah. Hanif. Your shop, Hanif. What is your name of the shop? What is your name, Hanif? Hanif. Yeah. Okay. So the shop owner told me one piece is 50 taka. And how much is this? 50 taka. 50? 30. 30 taka. Yeah. Samosa? 10 taka. 10, 10, 10. 18? 10, 10. 10 taka yeah, 10. for one? Yeah. Oh, wow. And how much is the burger, chicken 60, burger? 60. 60 taka. Yeah. And noodles? Uh, 40. 40. 40 taka. Okay. Oh, good price. Another shop owner is here in Bashindora again selling slippers and belts. I'm just going to ask him how much it cost. Brother, how much for this? 250. 250 taka. Wow. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. 250. Wow. And your belt, how much is? Uh, belt, 500, 600, 450. Okay. 350. Good price, good price. 
and your socks. How much is your socks? Uh, socks uh, 40 taka, 50 taka, one, one pair. Okay. Good, good. My name is Said. Said. Okay, Said. And this is your shop. Yeah. Uh, yes. And what time do you open your shop? What time do you start? Uh, opening uh, at uh, at those, uh, 10, 10, 10, uh, close uh, night 10. Oh wow, long hours. <laughs> Very 10, long. 10. Wow, 12 uh, hours. Uh, you must be tired. Open, open 10, close 10. Close 10, you must be tired. Uh, Not tired. And the name of your shop, what's it called? The, sh yeah, the name? Yeah. Your, the name of the shop? Uh, yeah, Sakin Store. Sagin Stone. Uh, Saki, okay. Saki Stone. And it's next to it's in Bashindura, next to Jamuna Future Park. Uh, Jamuna Future Park. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thank this. You. I appreciate Thanks. that. And thank you for watching as well. I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye. <laughs> Logging on the street is not the easiest thing ever especially someone like me who's never really done this and trying to do it here is really hard like my intro i tried to do my intro like maybe four or five times i didn't get it right and i still need to do it i haven't done it yet so the intro that you might be seeing is probably going to be done after done on my shopping go somewhere more quiet or something like that <laughs> yeah you need to have a lot of confidence to be filming yourself here and while people look at you and just stop and stay <laughs> and, and as well like you need to be careful as you're walking down as well you might end up inside so as you walk down you just need to mind your step and there's the rickshaws as well riding past you you need to be careful with them they might hit you cars on the other side there was just too much there's a lot of things going on as you walk on the street so i try making my intro here <laughs> it was a complete fail 